Oh hi, welcome back to the Redbird Shed. Very quick video, obviously not a lot happening this time of year. Just done a, a good clean out this morning. Uh, the cotbirds are all molted out on the top uh, cages. You can see the you can see the uh, darker red plumage coming through. Obviously, uh, they over the year the colour of the feathers starts to fade. Um, you can see there on the breast a lot the darker red coming through. Uh, scrapping has now stopped. Now they're in the full molt. They've started. They've settled down a bit. A bit of squabbling, but nothing uh, too too bad. Um, some of the young are in here. These are intensive or non-intensive. They're molting through quite well now. Some of them are probably second round, slightly behind the others. Bit of. Uh, obviously feather pulling by each bird you can see on the tail some of them have got tails which are white which are nest feather and some like this one down here have had its tail plucked and it's come back red but as I'm, I'm not really showing the birds it doesn't really make much difference um, I, I know what out the quality of them and the colour so yeah there the some of the birds there Right, I've moved down here. We've got some of overyeared hens. These are the ones that bred this year. And in there, I've put the young ivory chicks. The um, the ivory chicks were mostly second round actually, but they were getting really bullied by uh, by the other siblings above. So I've moved them down with the hens because they're even though they're very messy they are a lot more steady they, they won't attack they won't attack the young like the like the ones we were doing their siblings were doing so i'm going to let them molt out with the rest of the hens the hens are, are starting to molt out now the feathers everywhere i suppose everybody's got this time of year you spend half your time cleaning up feathers but uh that's the way it is See the slightly like the ivory one that's just come up to feed. Second round chicks are slightly behind with the molt and the and the other ones. So the ivory, say so all the ivory in there, and that, they're probably going to be hens actually. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on them. Uh, this time of year, you should be watching your birds, looking for signs of aggression, which usually shows it's going to be a cock bird, and the, and the, if they're trying to sing. And I know there's at least three in there which are singing. Uh, the one, where are they? That one there is a cock bird. Um, the one at the back there with the black uh, wing feather, that's definitely a cock. And there's a couple more. I think the one down there is a hen. But you start to, you should start to be able to pick out, even at this early stage, what you think are cocks and hens and then as I know they're definitely going to be cocks I shall move them up here with the rest of the cocks and I gradually split them about move them around and keep an eye on them right up through to Christmas uh, and hopefully by then I shall have everything sorted the, the cock mule the goldfinch mule is now molting out well it's on a bit of colour food He's always pleased to see me, always chirping. As soon as he sees me, knows me really well, dead steady. Uh, obviously, we've got some spare cages down there. But yeah, so not a lot to report this time of year, as I'm sure everybody else is going through the same. It's just a matter of letting them molt out, start watching for selection for the birds you're going to keep and the ones you're going to sell on or move on. But yeah, quite happy with the way things are going. Uh, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.